Welcome back. Over the weekend, it was reported that Omale and Thames were arrested in Uganda for holding a music concert in the country amid COVID-19 pandemic. The Ugandan police confirmed that they arrested and detained Omale alongside Thames for performing at a concert held at the Speke Resort in Munyonyo. His arrest follows a public outcry by Ugandan entertainers who castigated the police for allowing international artists to hold concerts while the local ones are denied. Speaking via a social media post on his official Twitter page some hours ago, Omale also confirmed that he is with the Ugandan police force. He stated at a time that all the issues will be sorted out and went on to urge all his fans to not be worried about him as he noted that things will be fine. However, new reports alongside photos making rounds on social media have it that the singer and upcoming songstress Thames have been charged to court. Fellow Nigerian celebrities are now calling on the Nigerian government to intervene and get the Nigerian stars in custody released. And of course, joining us uh, to talk a little bit more about this is our entertainment correspondent, Ife Olua Oshunke. Ife Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning. Well, good to see you. All right. What's going on? Yeah, we've, you've, we've, we, we've had the summary. What mm. is the latest now? Have they been released? No, they haven't still been released. But before we even get into that, now a lot of people are asking, why are they? Uh, why did they arrest um, Omale and Thames? And why not the, just the organizers? But um, people don't know that the law still exists in a lot of places. And Section 171 of the Uganda Penal Code provides that any person who unlawfully or negligently does any act which he or she knows or has reason to believe to be likely to spread the infection of any disease dangerous to life commits an offense and is liable to imprisonment for seven years. So they don't even know the severity of this, that if they are found guilty, they might go to jail for seven years. But mm -hmm. um, should the organizers be the one held accountable? Absolutely, I believe so. No, if, but isn't it, if, if you know there is a rule on the ground mm -hmm. that there is COVID-19 protocol right. uh, to be strictly adhered mm -hmm. to, why would you um, con accept to go for a concert in another country? A lot country? of people think it's quite irresponsible. Not a lot of people, at least some people also, you have two sides to the story, of course. Some people think it's quite irresponsible for Omar Lee and Thames to accept the offer and travel right but at the same time i'm thinking if i'm a um, if i'm a musician and i ask the necessary necessary questions they and I'm obviously asked, did well, not they, because if they, they had done clearance? what were they given any clearance is there any information exactly. about you doing clearance no, well before? we don't have that information now there are a lot of things we're not privy to yet yeah, now but no matter no, you, you just read the law mm -hmm. right and there is um, a standard that you cannot hold concert okay. in the mid of a pan in the midst uh -huh. of a pandemic. So why would a right thinking person leave his or her country to go perform in another country what when there is a law? No. What about the organizer that is from that country that knows about the, the law? The organizers have are also part of the people. So yeah, they're also part of the Put your hand inside fire. You say I, because the person is paying you money. Yeah, put your hand inside what fire. What I what I think you know is a little confusing for for you know for people who are seeing this is. Because this has gone, you know, from fire pan to fire, fire. You know, so fast. But what, 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 you know, people would ask is, was there any clearance they were given? Because during the concert, there definitely was mm -hmm. security presence. Right. The concert didn't spring they up overnight. Into the country. There was information about the, about the concert, you know, days before it eventually mm -hmm. took place. If the uh, Ugandan government didn't approve of it, they should have stated before mm -hmm. it eventually took place that, no, you don't have clearance to hold this concert. And so... I think they know, said they were having... Um, they had a lunch, um, a lunch and a dinner party earlier with fewer people. Then they proceeded to have the concert that same day. Do you understand? I think that was when they went in. So, so at first, I, they were following the, 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 the rules. rules. But after that, they, after the concert, it so blew what, up. So what's going to happen next? And what's going to happen is that I think the Nigerian government, it's time to, to intervene. Because Omar Lee has put out a series of tweets yesterday saying, is it beyond what he knows? Why is he being set up in Uganda? Do you understand? Like They're, they're, they're accusing him for other things now. He's saying that. Should I take the fall for what other Nigerians have done in Uganda? You know, he's putting out tweets like that, that insinuating that this is becoming way more than he bargained for. It's becoming way beyond the COVID-19 restriction rules you just, violation. You just brought up the yeah. expectations of the Nigerian government, mm. you know, which, of course, everyone is, you know, asking that they take you know, mm. action. I but I, I, I want to... Yeah, yeah, she did. But I, I want to also get your thoughts on... 
her tweets. Mm. Yes, she's responded, but there is also something that she did where a person tweeted saying, um, you know, Abike, 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 you know, is it Abike's fault that you went to go and break the law in another country? And she responded with laughter. Um, which, you know, for me and a lot of other people found very, very I think worrisome. it's quite disturbing that our leaders still think that, look, the fact that we're wrong in other countries, look, America would never leave their citizens regardless of what. They would intervene. They, would, they wouldn't put it out there like it's a lie. As long as you're a citizen of a country, whether you break the law there and you're expected to come back home, Especially when it's not something... Are you sure you have your facts right? You commit a crime in another country, you leave your country... So should we laugh over it? I'm not saying we should laugh over it, but we should not also play down on the fact that if you do something wrong, in my thinking, mm. you should own up and accept responsibility. I don't think, any, if there I don't is think someone anyone is saying that they're not guilty. If, Everyone if has the, owned up to it that, okay, yes, we're wrong, but mm -hmm. what is the step to be taken? How are we going to get back home? So they should go serve seven years in jail in I'm, Uganda? I'm sure it wouldn't get to that. Are but you in, sure in about the interim, that? <laughs> are you I, really I hope sure? Other, I hope <laughs> other artists are watching. Um, yeah, please and, do not go to countries right where there are laws that you can perform a concert in a COVID uh, situation. And um, the money might look very, I mean, we all like money. I know I do, but take it easy. That's all I can say. And yeah, we definitely. hope that um, authorities will help bring them out of the situation and uh, allow them to come back home and lessons would have been learned. And also be more sensitive on social media. And be more responsible. responsible. Are you sure this tweet to... came from? You know, it's more than <sighs> I my hair that it was hacked. She responded with laughter. She, she wasn't hacked. It's possible she was hacked. And then my word for <laughs> all the celebrities. Sense, it's possible she was hacked. Well, my word is for that... all the celebrities is that be more responsible when you're taking decisions because we are all um, responsible for our actions, regardless of, yeah, we all love money, but if I know that this is possible, it's possible for this to bite me in the behind, then why would I do it? All right, Ife, thank Hello, you very much, as always, for coming in always and uh, clearing the air. Yeah. Hello, and, uh, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.